Hey everybody, welcome back to Buddy's Spirits and Cigars. And today's shenanigans are brought to you by Dawson. Well, pause. I don't tell you guys this before the episode because I wanted to save it. This episode shenanigans are brought to you by Mackenzie Foreman, my better half. Okay. So you're we better, were, you're more like your better 80%. 90. Yeah. Yeah. She, she, yeah. 100%. She's a smoke show. Anyway, um, we were up at Liquids, obviously one of my favorite places. And uh, I love liquids. That's in Owasso, right? It is. Been there a couple of times. Yeah. Those are great people. Can't beat it. And uh, I said... Super nice even. Hey, if you don't mind, I said go buy a bottle of whiskey that Gage recommends. He's the guy that does all the bourbon. I was like, because we're going to do something. I'm going to bring a couple shooter sips. One isn't going to be that great. One, you know, we'll see. You know, but I, I, I expect it to be a little bit better. Hopefully. I said, buy something under 30 bucks that he recommends, and uh, we're going to do it for a shooter sit. Mackenzie, so, you're on the line here. Your rep is on the line. You are. So I don't know I don't know if it's a whiskey, if it's a bourbon, if it's a rye. I don't know. Um, I brought the bottle, but cheap. I put it in the box, and I haven't looked at it. I poured it, but I didn't read anything because I didn't want to have an unfair advantage. So this Let's one's on it. Mackenzie. Let's do it. All right. Well, here we go. The nose isn't bad. No, that's not bad. It's the right color, so that's good. Yeah, it's, it's got it's, good legs on it. It's brown instead of clear. I'm getting some baking spices on the nose. Something you should be fatter. You talk about baking spices a lot. Something spicy. It does have some spice to the nose. Can we taste? Okay, I think that's the ethanol. Though. We're, we're tasting it. Let's do it. That's pretty good. Well, not bad. That's a rye. I dig it. It's definitely a sipper. I can already tell you that for a fact. Without a doubt. That's pretty good. Pretty solid. Yeah, that's 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 actually very good. What? It's got a pretty good hug too. For under thirty bucks. Hmm. I I knew I loved her. This just reconfirms. So Mackenzie, you're off the hook. This is good. You didn't you didn't horror treat us, and we appreciate that. Yeah, you done very well. <clears throat> for sure. That is definitely a sipper. Yeah. Hundred percent. I agree. That's got to be a rye. It's got to <coughs> be. It's got to be. I, I don't know. Well, what do you see. think? Turp? I agree. It, you think so? Yeah. This is Heresy Kentucky Straight Rye. Oh 105 God. proof. By yeah. Broken Barrel. Okay. Yeah, by broken God. Barrel. You said, what was the proof? I wasn't paying attention. 105. 105. Not 105. Ciento and for those. Spanish speakers out there. And that's not all bad right, at all. So the mash bill is 95% rye, 5% <laughs> malted barley. That, that'll do it. No, no wonder we thought it was a rye. <laughs> Oak bill is 40% ex bourbon barrels, 40% new French oak, and 20% sherry oak cask. Huh. I like it. So that probably means it's a blend then right they do says we are risk takers and barrel breakers sub 30 bucks sub 30 all day long yeah i've never seen that now i have some broken barrel stuff but i've never seen that one says batched and bottled uh by hand in owensboro kentucky versus versus robots you can't beat that right for thirty, but I mean, I don't. I'm, I'm going to say thirty because I don't know. But it's, it's supposed to be under thirty. You can't beat that. That's uh, that's solid. Broken barrel, Kentucky straight rye, and 105 proof. I mean, come on. I'm really surprised you like it. I right, with it being 95 percent rye, me too. But maybe it's just the price point. At that 70 bucks, I wouldn't love this. You can't. That as far as flavor goes, price has nothing to do with it. Well, it it, it depends on how much I like the. Uh, the I'm not gonna pay. I mean, I mean, I'm not gonna pay ninety dollars for a rye because I'm not a rye guy. 
will I pay 25 or 30 for a rye that I think doesn't taste bad? Absolutely. But you didn't. McKenzie did. True. Okay. God lover. I'll be honest with you. It, even it, now that I've had that, if I found that at 50, I'd probably buy it because that's, that's a good rye. That's solid rye. It's a good rye. I haven't had it, but I will watch out for it now. That's good. I'm a fan. That's... It's a sipper for sure. That's more than worth the money at 30 bucks. Absolutely. Or under 30 bucks. What'd you say? Yeah, under 30. I told her under 30. I don't know exactly would, what it was. I would, but I would dare say that would be an underappreciated gem. Without a doubt. Because I don't know anybody that's ever said, hey, Fletch, you should try this broken barrel gin, heresy rye, you know. I've never heard of it, so. Yeah, that's. It's a hidden gem. Hidden gem. Without a I'm doubt. Saying. Without a doubt. That's awesome. That's good. Sub 30 bucks. You're not going to beat it. So, anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and grab you one of these. It's definitely Absolutely. a separate. Mackenzie, it, thank it you. It will make an enjoyable weekend for you. Thank you. We you love out, you. You outkicked your coverage. Good job, Mackenzie. Yeah. So, without further ado, we'll catch you on the next one.